Because you said in one of the videos before that Wiley wasn't inherently a bad creator, right? Yeah, like, in, in, in the manga, they kind of make him seem like he's, like, he's bad, but he actually genuinely, like, loves his robots. Yeah. And he instills them with a sense of personality because, like, that's kind of who he is. So... It, it gives him a little character in the in, in the in the Mega Mix series when the Star Droids attack, he actually helps Mega Man. Like, mm -hmm. um, as one of them, like just like you know, almost brutally kills Mega Man, and Wily actually helps him with it. So it makes it sound like that for Wily, it's almost like a game kind of. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think a lot of it comes with he has a really like he has a big ego, and he feels like his pride was wounded when uh, he wasn't given recognition for working on some of these robots. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they sort of hint that uh, Light and Wily made a lot of money from military contracts. And Light had second thoughts, like, no, I don't want to do this. And Wily kept getting funding, and he ended up kind of basically going behind their backs and, like, giving things to them. And when they worked on uh, Proto Man together, like, as, like, as like Break Man, like, he was sort of, like, um, given as, like, a military thing first. Mm -hmm. And, like, then he mass-produced uh, the Sniper Joe enemies based on... Yeah, um, I was about to say, because a lot of the, the sniper, sniper guys and all them look like... Oh, yeah, I can see it so now. So, just... Kind of, yeah. yeah, I can see the Wily resemblance. Oh, he definitely way. looks like yeah. Wily. Yeah. yeah. Just with a Russian hat on. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, my lord. He's, yeah, uh, he's, a lot, he's a lot of slow down this fight. He can't really handle it. Yeah. <laughs> so I got done playing... Um, Azure Gunvolt, not that long ago. Okay. It's a really good game. I, it reminds me a lot of these, obviously. And it's... I... I yeah. That was all I had. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I like, lost I my say, train of thought halfway through. Um, it's, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, but I played it like last week. It's, it's a good game. It's a good what, game. What are the things on the floor? So he, he says something like little mines out oh. there. So it's sort of it's, it's a time when you're able to get him to like he'll he'll pause for a second and drop those and he lets on his barrier. So you can, oh let's say you can't blow him up with like the wheel or whatever. See so yeah, how he does that there. Yeah. So what about you, Kevin? What's a game that you were hyped up as fuck about? You ended up buying it and it just turned out to be trash. I don't know if I can necessarily call it trash, but uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Really? Really? Yeah, I'm really disappointed with that game. Wow. Not people How so? Are well, okay, so, like, yeah. Red Dead Redemption 1, there was a lot of character to that game. Like, yeah, it just, I remember watching you play it. It was really and good. And when you're doing stuff, it felt like you're actually making progress. Well, so, a lot of the content in, hey. in uh, Red Dead 2. Like, okay, yeah, there's the story missions and stuff like that, but, like, they almost seem kind of insignificant and not really, like, worth it, oh, I guess. And then, okay. like, yeah. but, like, um, it does, a, like, a lot of the, the, like, people, the stuff people love about the game is basically these random generated, like, side quest things that can happen. And I'm like, well, that's not, that's not content. That's not what I don't want to be going through and doing stupid shit that really doesn't make a difference. Yeah, yeah. It's so like in one like side things you could do actually still felt like you were progressing story wise. Even yeah. though you technically weren't. Yeah. It was like side stuff that did character development. Yeah, it and, felt like there are some side quests in it that are really fun to play through, mm -hmm. but like the majority of them are just oh I'm walking along and there's a coach with some guy in the back of it screaming about how, you know, at the the, the, the marshals and stuff about, oh, you know, how when I get out of here, I'll, you know, I, I you know, I'm going to kill you guys and stuff like that. And you can choose to save the guy or let it go. Well, I've seen that same quest like seven times. <laughs> and it's like, well, I completed it. Easy <laughs> I was going to say, this looks a little bit easy. Yeah, if you actually find the buster, he gets pretty tricky. But mm -hmm. he's definitely one of the ones where if you have his weapon, he's, uh, you, oh, you, 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 gotcha. you kind of shut him down. Gotcha. That's something kind of from the X series too. Is like if you find the weapon, like you can kind of shut them down. Mm. But it, it definitely has to replay if you want to do like a Buster only run. If you ever try to do a Buster only and not get any of the of the life upgrades too, that gets to be really challenging. Oh it actually is, is is pretty fun to do. You yeah. know what all this talk reminds me of? Mm. Actually, about disappointments. Shut is... the fuck up. <laughs> Jeff Rovin had a disappointment too in his life. <laughs> oh God. He did insane. not like Genesis, I can tell you that. So for anybody who doesn't know, so if, if, you, if you didn't watch the Green Bay outing video, watch it. I picked up this book called 
What, what is it called? How to win at Genesis or something? Game Master. Conquering Sega Genesis games by Jeff Rovin. Jeff Rovin's the guy who wrote the How to Win at Nintendo he, games. He has, yeah. he has played Castlevania Bloodlines. Shut the fuck up. God damn it. And he loves Castlevania Bloodlines. I like it. It's a good game. It's a good Kevin, game. Kevin, do you like Castlevania Bloodlines? Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's a fucking masterpiece. Well... <laughs> and I'm sorry, Spear Guy was the best. Fuck yeah, Eric Lucard was the man. Jeff played the game and he obviously felt... He felt differently. <laughs> he felt slighted. He, he felt wronged because he was very disappointed with the game. For players familiar with the Super NES counterpart, Super Castlevania 4. Yeah, I do love Super 4. This game is inferior in both <laughs> gameplay and graphics. Suck my dick, Jeff! It's not a disaster, <laughs> just a disappointment. <laughs> he was not upset, he was just disappointed. <laughs> so I said to your mom last night. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, he's not oh, attacking God. your game. He is attacking my. He's attacking my whole life. I hate him. He attacked. <laughs> he's, he attacked your game. This guy is a. This guy's a real fucking dick. Well, I'm pretty sure that the old strategies that he had done, like I, I don't know. I think he may have done his research on the how to win at Nintendo games, but this one, he definitely oh. dialed in. He did not. He was not. Did you ever play James Pond? I for the Genesis. No. No. It was like a James Bond ripoff. Obviously, yeah, you play as obviously. a fish. Yeah, because so, they they did a cartoon well, of it too. Well, this isn't gonna make sense to you. They're like, there's nothing here hinting anything's there, but oh, clever! How the heck are you supposed to know that? Oh, here we I go. I don't even remember how I found that originally. I just sort of like I remember people were like, oh, like where did you get that? I'm like I have no idea where I. Found that. So here's wow. what, here's what he thought about uh, Gunstar Heroes. Oh, hold on a second. This upgrade is great. I, I got this one a lot. This, when I first saw this as a kid, it blew my mind. I was like, what? You can do this? This is super cool. So this kind of added like the extra giga attack thing. Oh, oh so yeah. crash attack? Yeah. So like when I first saw this as a kid, awesome. I was like, this is, looks amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, yeah. This is the one where... Oh, like, that's a move? I would have came as yeah. a child if so, that like, happened. Yeah, so like that's that, amazing. Yeah. So like they kinda of did that moving forward with a lot of like like secret abilities and things like X3 really had cool. like the hype had like the hyper buster you can get as a secondary chip. But that's like when I saw that as a kid, like that blew my mind. Plus, as I showed Paul, like that upgrade is really hard to find. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like it. So yeah. there's nothing really hinting at it, so it made it made it feel like a really big secret. Yeah. That's what I was like about the armor sets for the X games. Like they're they're oh, really yeah. cool, just in terms of like design and, and function. Well, I, I, just, I like the which God, which one is it where you get like the the one that allows you to walk on like spikes. Then oh, you got um, like the Falcon armor. So yeah, uh, in X five and six. So X five there, there's the Gaia armor, which is like, super heavy and you, you don't take damage from spikes, and it has a really powerful buster, but it's just short range. Yeah. Then X six you also get the Shadow armor, oh, which, is, which is like, which is like a ninja. Oh, and, that's and, cool. and that and that one you, uh, you don't you don't take damage from spikes and you can like latch onto the walls oh, and ceilings. Oh, well, you can hang on walls and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah you, you, you oh, you won't slide. Like, yeah. If you get that, yeah, if you get that really one, you can cool. latch on. That's awesome. Yeah. Like I they love really those arm those armor. Yeah, so yeah, like X one through six has a lot of good ones. Seven's armor, again, kind of kicking that one, is super lame. Uh, once you get it, it's the glide armor, which its abilities you get to just kind of gently caress. Just, just, just well, gently didn't, caress the there hover boots in a previous one too. Four, yeah. And the yeah so so and X four, uh, you're, you're, you're able to air dash or, or hover, which is really cool. But yeah, X seven is just uh, you get to gently float. <laughs> Uh, X8 has some really cool ones with the with the Hermes and the Icarus armor sets, and you can mix and match parts, which I like about That's that cool. So that that one that one was a lot of fun. But yeah, seven just. Was... I also like playing through with the uh, use the code to do like Black Zero yep. and mm -hmm. what's the other armor? So you get the, the, the ultimate armor for X, or you get the, like the black armor to, uh, for, for for. But isn't for, the code armor slightly different than if you pick up the upgrades? Um. I think there is a difference, but I can't Like the recall. animation for something they did was um, different? I think it's different for Zero, but I, I can't recall offhand. 
Um, yeah, is your replay like for, his virus version or whatever? I, I know for uh, for for X and X4, if if you get the standard armor through like the capsules, and you can get the Nova Strike, but you can only use it like once, like I think once a level or once every often, and it's absurdly powerful. Yeah. And you're invincible when you use oh, it, and the, it looks bug. different. But when you have the ultimate armor, you can use it as many times as you want. And it's incredible. Yeah, you're just like I yep, love the ultimate like, armor. Like, I'm just gonna kill everything. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, guys, I remember playing through that one with Mish. Yeah. He and I would play that a lot when we were growing up. And then um, X5, you can actually get the ultimate armor in game, or you get Black Armor Zero in game, whereas X4, you can't. No, that was a code. Um, so in X5, you can do it with, with a code at the start, or um, at the end of the game, I think in Zero Stage 2 or 3, um, there's a capsule right before the fight, and you can get it uh, with them. And you actually, I think, actually get it with both characters if you do it and then die and, like, and, and go back in. But in that one, you're actually able to get like the Black Armor Zero. Or oh, the Ultimate wow. Armor X, and I think it's right before the X versus Zero showdown, which is super cool in that game. That's great music. <laughs> what are you fighting? So this is Morph Moth. I actually like that his first phase is like. I was this. about to say, I'm like, what is happening right now? This doesn't look like the guy. Yeah. Yeah, no, it really does. He's a moth, so you just have. <laughs> oh, yeah, so my. cool. Yep. Get the fire. <laughs> I think there was an achievement um, in the X collection where it, you just have to just you just have to let him go without with, without touching him at all and just and, and, and wait for him to, to transform on his own because he he will gradually get bigger. Mm. Um, if, if if you don't touch him, that actually grows. Oh, see see as he's sucking stuff in. Yeah yeah. Uh, oh, he gets bigger. Yeah. So if if you wow. if you can't hurt him, like he'll just bust out on his own. Oh he's wow. Building himself basically yep. by sucking in the junk. That's cool. Yeah. So can you kill him before he even hatches? Um, he, he'll still hatch. Like he'll oh. he'll jump off. Um, so, you, so, so you do have to get to a second phase, but you basically just kind of rush him into it. Ah, see? I see. He's like, yeah. nope, shit, I gotta go. And it blows off the ceiling, then he, he flies in, which is really cool. So, I, just, I love these touches, they actually... That's kind of bulk, though, cool. he's got, like, no life. So he's like... Whoa. Oh, there's it's... no cool animation for hitting him in this phase. No. Looks pretty, pretty awesome, though. To say I'm it's... a bitch! <laughs> yeah. I also like that, um, for a flame stakes weapon, if you do the charges, it's an extra air dash. So you can actually, I don't know if you oh. saw earlier, I, when I got that heart tank, yeah, yeah. I did an air dash into that move, so I did, like, two. Yeah, so, so I, I you barely, like, clip just above the spikes so you yep. can get up. Oh, that's that awesome. Cool. That's why, I, I love the mechanics in these games. They're just... Oh, yeah. Oh. Also, the move. <laughs> just again for X7, I had to have beaten it. So I I, 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 I paid my dues. I've beat I've beaten it on the PS2 several times. Got endings for each character. I also beat it on the collection on the PS4 and on the Switch, and got all the achievements on both. Oh my God, you're a freak. I had to. And <laughs> I had to. I had to. I had to. And one of the achievements was rescuing all of the reptiles. Oh. oh. And you actually did it. Yes. All I did it 60... twice. Oh wow. I, did, I had to do it for PS4 and I had to do it for Switch. Oh. Well, luckily, you can save your game, right? Yes. <laughs> I'll save. But I just curse so many times by doing that. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, like I bit, I, you know, I beat X one through X four. I mean, it's great. I beat X five. Oh, that's great. X six. Ah, oh, some parts are rough, but it's fun. Oh, here's X seven. <laughs> <laughs> I, I end up taking a break from seven to go to eight. Like this is so great, it's so happy. And I kind of like realize, like, oh wait, I have to go back to seven. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, it was, that game is hard to play. It's, just, it's, it's difficult. It makes me sad. Yeah, yeah. There's always one in every series. Yeah. Uh, it makes you sad. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, no, please, no. no. Ingenious graphics no. and innovative gameplay. One of a kind. Gunstar Heroes. He was actually kind of Gunstar Heroes, huh? It's a great game. Well, it, oh, yeah. it is a great game, which is one why I thought that he was going to bed. Standout games of the just. I love that game. Oh, hell yeah. Is uh, the Mega Man Wild Wars mentioned in there? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I do like that one, and it adds in some really cool extras, but I I don't like how they resize Mega Man's sprite, and it makes things kind of awkward, and some of the some of the remixes was aren't too good. Mega Man Wily Wars, did that, was that an official release? Yeah. Yeah. So in the U.S., it wasn't released on a cartridge. It was only released on the Sega channel in the U.S. Oh, but that's in, probably why um, it's not in, in there. Japan and other parts of the country. It was other parts of the world. Sorry, it was released on a cartridge, so you can get it. Oh. I think in like Brazil, Europe, and Japan. Oh, Europe had their own. Um, okay, so they actually have a card. Yeah. But uh, Sega was really trying to push the, the Sega channel uh, distribution service here, so that became one of the games for that. Ah, gotcha. So that's why it's, you know, it's, it's not really going to get it. Mm -hmm. 
Some of these. Oh god. You ever, you ever play Gyarus for the Genesis, no. the shooter? Uh, so in the game, you have this little satellite that you can use. It, it functions as a like an like an outrigger, but you could you launch it at enemies to absorb powers. Okay. And it becomes better. It's so it's Gyarus is kind of not bad visually and play wise, but nothing new. Like I, I can't think of many shooters where you had to, where you got to send out a bit to get more power ups. Well, so like, I think it, in uh, our type, right? I don't think so. Like, I thought it, our it, type it, was like like, like, uh, like you have a bit that goes with you and shoots stuff. I don't know if it. Yeah, it, it, it does, but you can lose it though. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think in Darius you can also get a bit too. Do you ever play Eternal Champions fighting yeah. game? I've seen it. I've never actually played I've it though. I've heard the name. It looks. Yeah. It, it honestly, it looks terrible. Excellent pseudo martial arts fun with Ooh. memorable am and anima I said animation. Animation. What? This guy is. It's all almost of his like every mind. every game that you would think is terrible that you don't want to play. He's saying what a great game it is. I am not understanding his logic and his minds. Uh oh. What game? What game? I don't what? agree with this. Uh, do you like what game? Echo the Dolphin. They're fun to kind of. They're, yeah. they're they were really pretty, okay. Right? Okay, so I has great music. I yeah. yeah. I was gonna say I I they're boring as all get out to play. Yeah, they are yeah. lame. But I love the music. Yeah. I love the soundtrack. And like I said, graphically for the time, they were great. They were yeah, really Yeah, graphically great. speaking, they were beautiful games. Absolutely top-notch graphics. I actually agree. I do agree. Yeah, Stunning gameplay, one of the best Genesis games. Okay, no. <laughs> I, don't think it's best I, like, I don't think it's bad. Like, it's one of, like, it's not one that I would really go to. It's to play, very but... hard to get into. It is, just because it's so, so slow. It's a, it's a slow-moving game. Let's see what else we got. So. Decap Attack. Do you remember yeah, that? I one? remember that one, yeah. But a novel concept, so, to say the yeah. least. In this one, there's a little like um, icon that keeps following you. It's, it's, it's like a tracker there. If you if you let it keep oh. doing it, it'll scan you and over and over. And you kind of wonder like, oh, like what was that about? It doesn't really tell you. Yeah. yeah. What happens is if you get here, they feed that info to him, and it makes him more difficult. Oh. So, so, oh. It, 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 so it can scan you, I think, like up to five times. But it changes him. It makes his AI. Well, it, it makes it more, more that's difficult. That's cool. That's so, oh, that's cool. that reminds so, me a lot of uh, Cyber Peacock's level. Yeah. So if you if you did go by like I've done it where you you can skip all the sensors, he's really dumb. Like he doesn't really know what to do. So I kind of like that. It, it makes it sound like he's like he's trying to analyze you. That's yeah. Clever. Yeah, that is a really clever mechanic. So it's, it. Sorry, I, I I always have to gush for Mega Man stuff. Like it's just no. Well, it's, so it's a great game with <laughs> impressive graphics, but nothing new. <laughs> well, did uh, Jeff Rovin have anything to say? For... <laughs> no. Fortunately enough, he's only attacking Sega Genesis games. Not it's Super all that's Nintendo. in here. Well, I mean, like, well, no, like there, there's risks of the Wily Wars on, on Genesis. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, not, it's, it's not in it's there. Not, oh, it's, it's not. not in there, no. Oh, I guess, I guess maybe since it wasn't... I because like it wasn't a cartridge, you How do you didn't feel hit. about Chuck Han, the Forever Man? What is, what is that? What the hell is that? I don't know. Never mind. Are oh you? no, no. He terrific visuals and daunting gameplay will bring you back to the game over and over eternally perhaps. Eternally, huh? Wow. I like when he likes a game a lot, he makes puns. <laughs> oh man. Magnus and he's, he's his, pretty uh, cool. Oh yeah, he is. I like that he, cool he kind of like some like like mean pole like, like mean, 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 so he goes around. So he's able to drag you in there. But if you use this weapon, you actually destroy his tail and he can't use certain attacks. Oh wow. Fuck! So, <laughs> so he's like shit. So so now he really just basically disappears and reappears and throws stuff at you. That's cool. Well, what makes this one is this this attack actually was... break breaks apart, so you can kind of plan on using it. Oh that. yeah. You know, some of the games in here that he reviewed actually are like his reviews are good. Like Arcus Odyssey, smashing gameplay, smashing graphics and zesty gameplay. Zesty. He used zesty. The, yeah. yeah, and it actually is a. What really, does he have to say about light? Crusade? Yeah, no, it's zesty. I don't know if that's in here. I don't remember seeing I just, it. I feel like I might describe like a taco salad as zesty, mm. but I don't know if I would describe the game as zesty. A, a, no, a no, I, no, light crusader. Oh, no. I know. It makes me upset when. Now that book can go away. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. Like I said, Arcus Odyssey is actually a really, really good fucking If game. only, if only 2049, or, or uh, not, uh, Altered Beast is in here. No, if only, uh, really Excalibur 2097 was in there. <laughs> Altered Beast. Picks. I know it's kind of a classic, but I've never really been a big fan. Which one? Altered Beast? Yeah. Great graphics, <laughs> and the various difficulty levels help the game to retain its value over repeated play. I, uh, that game... <laughs> It's fun to play through, but it gets boring very quickly, and it gets very repetitive, and it has very little replayability. Alien 3. Oh, God. 
This is generally standard, but exciting shoot 'em up, highlighted by impressive alien animation and lively action. This? I will actually agree okay. with that. That the was the closest you got to dying, actually. Alien Three for the Genesis. Oh wait, oh no, never mind. I'm looking at your yeah. your. Alien Three weapon. for Genesis yeah, was weapon. fucking incredible. What was Alien Three for the Genesis? I was it? Oh my god, dude! It it's it scares the shit out of you. 